Algebra 2, Concept 27, Properties of Logarithms and the chase, Change of Base Formula. For this concept in this unit, you're going to need to recall Unit 5a, where you first learned of logarithms. So remember, a logarithm is an equation whose value is an exponent. So I'm going to show you three different properties of logarithms, and you'll use those during this concept to do what we call expand and then condense logarithms. So a log value <clears throat> that is a product can be written as a sum. So look at the example. Log base 2 of x times y can be written as log base 2 of x plus log base 2 of y. So notice that the value of the log, which is xy, is a product multiplying together. So you can rewrite that as log base 2 of x plus log base 2 of y because sometimes we need to break logarith logarithms apart like that. <clears throat> you can also use this property in the opposite direction. So you could go from two logarithms that are being added together and rewrite them as a multiplication. So now the quotient property. Quotient, remember, means, means to divide. So a log value that is a quotient that's dividing can be rewritten as a difference. So look at the example. Log base 2 of x over y, that's a quotient, can be rewritten as log base 2 of x, the numerator, minus, this is a difference, log base 2 of y. And notice in both of these, I have repeated the base. So make sure that you get your notes down so they look just like mine. <clears throat> so they're nice and accurate. All right, a power property. So a log value that is a power can be rewritten using, using multiplication. So our example is log base 2 of x squared. So what we do is we can take the exponent and pull it out to the front of the expression and rewrite it as that exponent, which is 2 times log base 2 of x. So the exponent has now become multiplication. Those are just properties of logarithms. Um, <clears throat> so like I said earlier, we're going to use these properties to expand logs. So when we expand, this is when we use the properties to rewrite logarithms until each expression is a single number or variable. And we'll come back to this further on in the notes. And when we condense logs, we use the properties to rewrite logarithms so that there is just one log expression. And then finally, we're going to also recall what you learned in concept 25 in the last unit, or unit 5a, which is the change of base formula. Remember, it is just a method to rewrite a logarithm so that it's easy to evaluate on any scientific calculator. So log base b of m can be written as log of the value, or m, divided by log of base <clears throat> b. Okay. So now we're going to use the properties to expand the expressions. So remember, a logarithm is completely expanded when each log term has a single number or variable. So you first look at the value and see what operations are going on here. So we have multiplication and powering in the numerator, and then we have a denominator. So we say of those three things, multiplying, powering, and dividing, which affects all of the terms? Well, all of them are being divided. They're part of the fraction, so that's where we start. So we rewrite this quotient, if you look back at your notes, as a difference. So we do log. Now the base is 10, so we're not writing that subscripted 10. So log of the numerator, 5x to the 7th minus log of the denominator. Now <clears throat> we look at the first expression. The value is 5 times x to the 7th power. So we have powering that's only affecting the x, and then we have multiplication that's affecting both of those terms. So that's what we will expand the next. So we, we will rewrite that as a sum. So log 5 plus log x to the 7th, and we just bring down the last expression. Now, the first and the last expressions are completely expanded because they are just a log value with the single number or variable but the middle one needs to be expanded more. So we take the power seven and we re rewrite it as multiplication. So log base five, I'm sorry, log of five plus seven times log of x minus log y. And see how I've highlighted the log value, which are just single numbers or variables. So now I know that my 
Logarithm has been ex completely expanded. All right, let's repeat the process for number two. We look at the value and say, what is affecting all of those terms? Well, multiplication. So we rewrite multiplication as a sum. And again, you're just going to have to memorize these properties. So now the first expression is, is done, it's expanded, but the second one has a power. So we rewrite that one as multiplication. We pull the 4 out to the front, and then that one is expanded. Number 3, let's just repeat the process. So look at the value. Notice that dividing affects all the terms, so expand division through subtraction. It's a difference. So the first expression, ln5, is done, but now the second one is multiplication. So we can expand that using addition. But notice I open a parentheses and put the natural log of 12 plus the natural log of x. And then the last thing I could do is just distribute that negative. And then I highlight those values just so you can see that they are a single number or variable. So they are completely expanded. Now let's work the other direction and let's condense. Okay, so we're going to start um, looking at each of the logarithms individually. And with the second one, we notice that it has a multiplier out front. So now since we're condensing, we can rewrite that as a power. So we'll rewrite the first expression. This becomes log 2 to the third power minus log 3. And we still have a logarithm base 10. Notice there's no subscripted number, so it's an understood 10. Now I'm going to take 2 to the third power and write that as log of 8. And so now I can just work left to right. So I notice my first two expressions are added. They are a sum. So I can work backwards and rewrite them as a product. So log of 9 times 8, which is 72. And then I just bring down my minus log 3. Now I have these two, and I can rewrite them as um, division because they have been... They're a difference right now, so I can condense them as a quotient or division. And so now I have, I've completely condensed because I have just one log expression. Oop. All right, let's back up a little bit. <laughs> okay, so number um, five, let's do the same thing. And do you notice the middle expression? Do you see how we got a multiplier? So let's rewrite that as a power. Three to the third power is 27. Now we can work left to right, so the first two are a sum, so we can multiply 4 times 27, which is 108, and now we can continue working left to right, and this is a um, difference, so we can divide. 108 divided by 12 is 9. All right, so we are completely condensed. Last one, so log base 4, now we have a, a different base from 10, um, of x minus log base 4 of 9. So all we can work with is this subtraction, this difference. So we can condense it as a using division. So we repeat the log in the base and then x over 9. Done. It's one logarithm. So now let's use the change of base, which is super easy. Grab your calculator. Log base 3 of 8. <clears throat> you can rewrite it. So it's log of the value, which is log of 8, divided by log of 3. You're changing it to base 10. And let's just round to two decimal places. So 1.89. That means if you take 3 and raise it to that power, you will get really close to 8. All right, now let's do another one. So log base 8 of 22. You can rewrite that and put it in your calculator as log of the value, which is 22, divided by log of um, the base, which is 8. So we can round that to 1.48. All right, now let's solve some real-life problems. So for a sound that has an intensity i in watts per meter squared, um, the loudness, l, of the sound in decibels is given by this formula, this function. That loudness, l, equals 10 times the logarithm of the sound intensity divided by i sub 0 where I sub 0 is the intensity of a barely audible sound, which is 10 to the negative 12. <clears throat> a says determine the level in decibels of the sound with intensity 10 to the negative 8. So you're going to take 10 to the negative 8 and plug it into the formula for I. So loudness equals 10 times the log of 10 to the negative 8 divided by, and then you'll plug in 10 to the negative 12 for I sub 0. 
Now grab your calculator and just plug in what you see to the right of the equal sign. 10 times log and then 10 to the negative 8 divided by 10 to the negative 12 and press enter. So the loudness in decibel is 40 decibels. Here's another application. <clears throat> Chemists define the acidity or alkalinity of a substance according to this formula. pH equals the negative log value of the hydrogen ion concentration, HI or H+. Plus. I'm not sure how to say that. Where that is the hydrogen ion concentration measured in moles per liter. Per liter. So solutions with pH value of less than 7 are acidic and with greater than 7 are basic. Um, if they have a pH of 7, such as pure water, they are called neutral. So suppose that you test apple juice and find that its hydrogen ion concentration is that number, 0 0.0003. Find the pH value. So this is a simple plug-in. Seems complicated, but it's not. So we simply put that number in, grab your calculator. So the pH of this apple juice is approximately 3.5 and it is acidic, which you probably knew. So now we're testing ammonia, which has a concentration of 1.3 times 10 to the negative 9. So you simply put that number in. You can do that um, on your calculator. So that is the pH level is 8.9, and that is a basic. All right, now you, you are to some independent practice, so you need to pause the video, attempt to expand and condense and do some of those other problems, and then come back and check your work. All right, let's check these numbers one and two where you are expanding <clears throat> these logarithms. So I'm letting my work run, and hopefully that you ended up with log 10 plus five log of x. Notice that you needed to expand the multiplication and then the powering. Number two, you need to expand that quotient first by uh, subtraction. And then the 6x squared, expand that using addition. And then finally, deal with the powers. So you get the natural log of 6 plus 2 times the natural log of x minus 4 times the natural log of y. So now we use those properties and do the reverse. We're going to condense. So you can rewrite the first logarithm as 2 to the 6th power, or 64. And the second one is the natural log of y to the 4th, and then condense that using division. So the natural log of 64 over y to the 4th. And number 4. So first deal with the power in the second term. 1 half squared is 1 fourth. Then work left to right, condensing the addition and then condensing the second addition. So you get log base 3 of x. <clears throat> Change of base formula, you need to do log of 9 40 divided by log of 3, changing it to base 10. And then finally, just plugging in that hydrogen ion concentration into your formula and plugging it into your calculator. The pH level is approximately 2.4, and so that is acidic. And that concludes the notes on concept 27.